Welcome back everyone to the Pop Cult Lair. I'm Anthony and I'm here to bring you Green Arrow Rebirth Issue 1. Now just like all these arrows, let's take a quick shot and see if this book is a good read. Let's take a quick look at the cover here. Very similar to the Batman Issue 1 Rebirth, but nonetheless an amazing Green Arrow close-up. So let's take an in-depth look inside here. So it appears that Oliver Queen is on a date. As the playboy himself, the date does not go very well. But we do come across a homeless child and his mother on the streets of Seattle. And we get a reference of the beard man, Oliver Queen. So we do know that he's grown out a beard and nobody seems to like it. Um, the date surely did not like it and the kid calls him Beard Man, which is pretty funny. So just like in Stephen King's It, we have the child's mother being taken down to the sewer. So that's very creepy. All right, so we move along here and we're being introduced again to the child, the homeless child, and a hooded figure is seemingly taking the child and we see Green Arrow hits this, the wall and the first image of the Rebirth Green Arrow appears in a beautiful splash page done amazingly by Otto Schmidt. Never heard of this artist before, but this artist is amazing. Um, I've become a very big fan with this first issue. He knocks it out of the ballpark, draws Green Arrow and everyone in this storyline in a very cool indie look. And this is the first time I've read a story by Benjamin Percy. And I gotta say, this is my favorite Rebirth issue that has come out since. Um, other than the actual Rebirth itself. I love the Batman story, but this is probably my number one pick of the Rebirth issues. So let's move along and start telling the more story. So we see Oliver uh, fighting with the hooded figure with his rugged beard and we discover that it's none other than the awesome Black Canary. Look at that, look at that drawing there. Now that is, that's on point. Classic Black Canary with her fishnet stockings, her rocker boots. All right, now how cool is that? There is, but we soon realize that she has a little quarrel or beef with Mr. Oliver Queen, the playboy, and she gets invited to Queen's little hotel suite. We see them badger each other about Oliver's bachelor ways of being a millionaire icon, and she has problems with a hero having so much money, so much popularity, that she has, she is not impressed. She is not impressed with Mr. Oliver Queen. And we see the goatee, the infamous goatee happen here. So the interaction between Black Canary and Oliver Queen in Rebirth is just so much fun. It feels organic. It's uh, a sign of relief. And we know that in the New 52, they hardly interacted, if at all. So I was just giggling and having a good time reading this little back and forth banter between them two, knowing that they do, they are attracted to each other and they both are badasses. So uh, the first introduction here of Rebirth of them meeting is just a great solid read. So let's continue the story here. Um, they are told to go to the jungle and the jungle is a homeless encampment that reaches across several hundred acres of green belt which is in Seattle so it looks very much like here it looks like a Tarzan uh, jungle here with a bunch of uh, homeless shelters and the boy's father is there and they're hoping that the boy's father might know something about 
the underground men that they keep encountering. So the underground men look like the mole men, <laughs> pretty much, but they are creepy Nosferatu looking little creatures. And they kidnap homeless people and they take them to an unknown place. So women and children are abducted. Green Arrow and Black Canary have an awesome battle. We see uh, Black Canary's powers working beautifully. And we see a cool image right here of Oliver just adoring Black Canary's power and seeing how powerful she is. And we discover that the homeless women and children are being auctioned off in an underground black market. And I love this little history lesson that I learned um, about Seattle's underground. That there was a massive fire in the 1800s. Seattle was reborn over the ashes of another time. And I love this quote. Oliver says, this city got a second chance. I got a second chance and so do you. And Black Canary replies, here's to second chances, I guess. So it's a cool little start with the first issue about the relationship and the whole rebirth line, really. So I really, um, I really applauded that. The next page we get into some action here. Um, we see an auction going on between the child's mother being auctioned up to a bunch of masked characters. Now, I believe these are billionaires of the underground, very similar to the movie Hostel. And uh, they all got creepy masks and um, are bidding for this homeless woman to do as they please. So this Nosferatu guy is holding the whole auctioneer to around the world. So then here we get some great art again of the two working in twine. So I love that. So they stop the bidding, they save the homeless woman, and we see that this isn't the end and it's going to hunt down these uh, hooded, masked men, the underground men. So the end here, we didn't get a kiss, but I'm pretty positive that they're getting it on right after this issue. So again, this issue was one of my favorites out of the whole Rebirth line. It just felt genuine. It felt like a fun read. Um, the, two work, the two heroes working together just felt nice and real and we finally get to see Black Canary and Green Arrow working a while together and rekindling their romance. So I'm definitely definitely getting the second issue of this this series and hopefully you grab your copy of Green Arrow Rebirth issue one and share your opinions in the comments and I would like to know what you think of this first issue. I want to thank you for all watching The Pop Cult Lair. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, follow, and comment. And thank you so much. And have a great day. Peace out.